everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott Schaefer and today we're going to mill up some oval slabs. When I say oval, I mean there's a live edge, 360 degrees around this slab. It's freaking awesome. It's like a combination of a cross cut and a slab. Now this cut is a little bit dangerous, so please if you aren't an experienced sawyer, please don't attempt this uh, right out of the gate. Otherwise, enjoy the video. But without further ado, let's see how this is done. Okay, so the idea here is that you want to have your front end higher than your back end, all right? So the front end being the end that we cut into where we start the cut, the back end being where we exit the cut. So the front end, the bottom of the front end needs to be higher than the top of the back end. And right now I've got about a 10 inch difference. So I'm gonna get about four two inch slabs that, are, that have a live edge all the way around. Now if you're, the bottom of the front end was equal to the top of the back end, you wouldn't get any. So you gotta get it higher, all right? And the higher you go, uh, the more slabs you're gonna get, but you're also gonna have uh, shorter slabs too. So it's really kind of what you're, what you're going for. But one thing I wanna say about this mill, and I've said it a lot about the Norwood, look at that, doesn't that look awesome, that grain? I have a little bit of a chainsaw cut there that kind of sucks, but anyway. The Norwood is, uh, is so versatile. I say this every time, it's so versatile, and that's really helpful when doing custom weird cuts like this is because I can move those dogs around wherever I want. I can move the bunks. I can remove the toe guards out, or the toe kicks out of the way, the rollers. I can arrange the mill exactly how I need it to be arranged to make this specific cut. I think Norwood's the best option for this kind of work, but it's not like I do this all the time, but it's it's nice to be able to do it. So these four by fours here, I'm not using those as supports. So I just want you to know that those are just safety nets, same as that strap on the back end. They're just safety nets, because I don't want this log to slip and put all that weight on the blade. I do need to be careful though, because the weight of the log is gonna shift. Um, the tipping point of the log is going to move uh, further back the more I cut off of it, so I need to be really careful about that. So I should flip the log right now, because as you're gonna find out, I've passed the tipping point, and it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna, it's gonna slip right about now. Boom, there it goes. See all that weight on that blade? Ooh, that's rough. All right, so <laughs> you wanna avoid that if possible, but I don't wanna finish that cut. I'm not gonna try to reset it back into position, because that's just not possible, and I don't wanna screw up the rest of this cut. So I'm gonna change the blade out, because it just bent the blade, and I'm gonna flip this log over, and I'm gonna start over from the other side. And this two inch slab that I was just trying to cut, that's gonna be my last slab to come off the mill. Now, the wood I'm using is an aged elm. Aged elm is great because the grain pops, there's a lot of contrast, but also it's pretty dry. And I actually cut a 16 inch wide, half inch thick slab a while back um, out of a similar log, and it did not curl or twist or warp or anything it was great it just stayed exactly how i want it to stay so this is a great wood to to do projects like this if you have an aged elm and maybe there's probably other species out there too go ahead and leave that in the comments section if you can think of other species that cooperate really well um, under these circumstances but the aged elm is is my favorite to do this with I also want to know what you guys think about these slabs I'm cutting off here that have one flat edge on one end. So I think there's a lot of stuff you can do with these slabs, um, but if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and share those in the comment section down below. So as you can see, I'm right there, I hit my dog. So you guys got to pay attention to those dogs. I had it set a little bit higher because of the weight, and I should have stopped and lowered it as, as I cut a lot of that weight out, and I didn't. I forgot about it. So that was my bad. I wasted a blade, but, you know... It's totally worth it. I mean, these, these slabs are just, just so cool. Look at that grain. I mean, that, that's, ugh, I just love that grain. And these cuts are so nice. I used a brand new blade. Uh, the Norwood tracked really well. And man, these, these slabs, if they don't move much, which I don't think they will when they're drying, these slabs are gonna be so easy to clean up and finish and uh, turn into something really cool. So I'm really excited to see what comes out of this. All right guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, wherever that button is. We'll see you in the next video.